in a groundbreaking development, Zimbabwean innovator Maxwell Chikumbutso has set out to prove the unimaginable, that it is possible to drive a self-pated electric vehicle from Zimbabwe all the way to Cairo, Egypt. This 7,500 ke journey is not just a demonstration of the vehicle's capabilities, but a bold declaration that the world can finally break free from the grip of fossil fuel dependency. However, as the project progresses, it is becoming clear that even the most ambitious technological endeavors are not without their obstacles. Delays, mechanical problems, bureaucratic hurdles, and security concerns have started to hinder the journey. Let's take a closer look at the challenges Maxwell Chikumbutso's self-powered car journey is encountering as it aims to revolutionize the future of transportation. Maxwell Chikumbutso is no stranger to ambitious, world-changing ideas. A Zimbabwean entrepreneur and inventor, Chikumbutso has spent years developing technologies aimed at reducing the world's reliance on traditional energy sources. His most notable project to date is a self-pated electric vehicle a car that generates its own energy, removing the need for external power sources like charging stations or fossil fuels. Maxwell's vision is nothing short of revolutionary. He envisions a world where transportation is powered by clean, renewable energy, freeing us from the environmental damage caused by conventional vehicles. With his self-painted car, Maxwell hopes to show the world that it is indeed possible to make this vision a reality. But the road to innovation is never smooth, and his journey to Cairo has proven to be full of unforeseen twists and turns. Pioneering new technology, especially something as complex as a self-promoted vehicle, is always filled with unexpected challenges. Maxwell Chikumbutso's car is an ambitious attempt to solve the global energy crisis, but bringing such a concept to life is far from simple. The first challenge that Chikumbutso and his team encountered was related to the vehicle's performance. While the self-powdered technology works as intended in controlled settings, ensuring that it performs consistently on a long and continuous journey is a different matter. The car needs to prove that it can not only withstand the rigors of the road, but also generate and store enough energy to keep itself running over long distances, particularly in areas where infrastructure may be lacking. As the journey began, Maxwell's team faced issues with the vehicle's battery management system, which failed to provide the promised efficiency. Though innovative, the battery required further adjustments to maintain energy output over the necessary distance, causing delays to the journey. For a project of this scale, one of the greatest obstacles is not technological, but bureaucratic. Navigating international borders, securing permits, and meeting regulatory requirements for a self-painted vehicle are not simple tasks. The unconventional nature of the vehicle raised questions at various border control points. Each country the car passed through had different requirements for registration, inspections, and emissions tests. What made matters worse was the unpredictability of these regulations. In some countries, the vehicle was considered a new and unclassified category, leaving border officials uncertain of how to process it. Chikumbutso's team faced significant delays at several border crossings as they awaited necessary clearances and approvals. These delays were further compounded by diplomatic and legal challenges as the countries involved in the journey questioned the long-term feasibility and safety of such a project. Beyond the technical and bureaucratic hurdles, there were also major strategic challenges that slowed the journey. While Maxwell's vision for a self-paid electric vehicle drew international attention, securing funding for such an ambitious project was always a concern. To make the journey to Cairo a reality, Maxwell relied on a combination of private investments, partnerships with renewable energy companies, and crowdfunding. However, securing sufficient financial backing to cover travel costs, logistics, and vehicle maintenance proved to be a constant struggle. Despite Maxwell's reputation as an innovator, convincing investors to support a project that pushed the boundaries of conventional technology was difficult. Some investors hesitated because there was no proven track record for such a revolutionary vehicle, combined with skepticism surrounding the practicality of a self-permitted vehicle capable of completing the journey. The financial pressure also caused delays in necessary upgrades and repairs to the vehicle, with Maxwell having to balance the urgency of the journey with the limited availability of funds. With every delay, the team faced mounting pressure from investors, the media, and the public, all eager for updates on the journey's progress. One of the most unexpected challenges came from security concerns in some of the regions the vehicle passed through. Countries along the route, particularly those in conflict zones or with unstable political climates, 
presented real dangers to both the vehicle and its crew. Traveling through these areas raised concerns about the safety of the team, their equipment, and the vehicle itself. The vehicle's distinctive appearance and advanced technology made it a target for potential theft or sabotage. In some instances, security forces and local authorities were hesitant to offer assistance, further complicating the journey. At times, the crew had to make last-minute adjustments to their route to avoid areas deemed too dangerous to travel through. This meant recalculating the journey and managing the logistical nightmare of rerouting and securing new arrangements on short notice. These security concerns created additional delays, but they also emphasized the importance of local support in the countries along the route. Without a strong network of local collaborators, the success of the trip would have been impossible. Local activists, environmental groups, and government officials played a vital role in helping the team navigate security issues, protect the vehicle, and ensure the safety of the crew. However, the unpredictability of local politics and occasional communication breakdowns meant that even with good intentions, delays were unavoidable. An ambitious journey like this naturally attracts media attention. To showcase the self-payered vehicle's potential, Maxwell partnered with several camera crews to document the entire trip. This would not only highlight the vehicle's performance, but also raise awareness of the project worldwide. However, coordinating with media outlets and camera crews proved to be yet another source of delays. The logistics of transporting camera equipment, scheduling interviews, and managing footage from multiple locations added another layer of complexity to an already challenging journey. At times, technical issues with the filming equipment, combined with unreliable communication from certain media partners, resulted in missed deadlines for footage releases. Additionally, some media outlets questioned the credibility of the project, pointing to the delays and mechanical problems as evidence that the self pomaded car might not be as revolutionary as initially claimed. This skepticism, fueled by inconsistent media coverage, created doubts among the public about the car's practicality. Despite the obstacles that have slowed down Maxwell Chikumbuzo's journey, his self-powered electric vehicle still stands as a symbol of what is possible when innovation is taken to its limits. The dream of a world where transportation is powered by clean, renewable energy is far from over, and Chikumbuzo's vision continues to inspire those in the scientific and engineering communities. The journey from Zimbabwe to Cairo may have been delayed, but it's not the end of the road. Maxwell and his team remain determined to overcome the challenges and prove that sustainable energy solutions are not just a possibility, but the future. The technological hurdles, bureaucratic obstacles, and logistical issues have only strengthened the resolve of the team, and they remain hopeful that once they reach Cairo, their success will ignite a global movement towards self-sustaining transportation. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered vehicle journey is a story of vision, innovation, and perseverance. Though the path to Cairo has been far from easy, the challenges encountered along the way highlight the complexities of pioneering new technology. As the world watches, the project stands as both a testament to human ingenuity and a reminder of the difficulties involved in turning dreams into reality. The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo's self-powered electric vehicle is far from over, and despite the setbacks, it has already had a profound impact on the global conversations surrounding sustainable transportation. The journey may have been delayed, but the goal remains unchanged, to prove that a future powered by clean, self-sustaining energy is not just a dream, it is a reality waiting to unfold.